All right, welcome back. So now that we've went through all the tool manager options within MasherCam, MasherCam a few years ago actually created an application separate than MasherCam to actually organize all your tools in. And I'm gonna show you guys how to open that up as well as how to use it very effectively. So first of all, go ahead and open up your folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my folder over here. The shortcut for that is usually C drive, program data, Microsoft Windows, Start Menu, Programs, in MasterCam 217. So usually this is in your Start Menu. So if you go to your Start Menu, go to Program, MasterCam 217, you're gonna see these five options to open up right here, okay? You can also, if you have Windows 8 and above, uh, under where it says Ask Me, or where it says you can, where you can search, just type in Tool Manager, and that should show up for you. So if you basically double click that, you're gonna have the MasterCam Tool Manager open up. And that's how it looks like. It's actually a separate application than MasterCam. Now, if you have any recent databases that you open, it will show up over here. If you don't, this will be blank. Now, that's how everything should open up for you. It's blank, you can't really click on anything. It's all grayed out. But now is the time to open up a library. So for example, I'm gonna go back to MasterCam. There is a tool library that I've saved using all these tools. So there's gonna be a total of eight tools, okay? But the last one really doesn't have an assembly with it. So there's seven with an assembly, which means they have a holder. The last one, I didn't create a holder for it. And I've done that on purpose and I'll show you why in a little bit, okay? So I saved all of these in a tool database. So dot tool DB uh, sh shortcut, and that became a database for me, a tool database. So now I can open that up either in tool manager, for example, if I go over here, I can open that up. If I scroll down, it's called VT Pros dash inches, and that will open up a library of tools for me, which are really these tools right here, okay? So for our sake though, I wanna go back to the program and open it up over here. So go ahead and select file, and you can either open it up from recent if you've already opened it up. Since it's the first time you're opening this up, you will not see anything here. So you can select open over here, and scroll all the way down and select VT Pros, dash inches but again you will not have that so you might want to open up your own or if you did follow along in this chapter you will have that saved and you can open that up okay so under pc uh, c drive it's the same shortcut users public public documents shared master camp to 17 or whatever version that you have this is the same it's been the same for the past three years and it might be the same in the future so if you see a different version here it's probably the same way in the same shortcut, just a different MasterCam version. So we'll be under Mill and under Tools. I'm gonna to select it and select Open. All right, and give it a little bit and that should open up for you. Now, there you go. So now it will show seven under the Tool Assemblies and one under Cutting Tools. If you just double click on the Tool Assemblies, that will open up a new tab with seven tools and their assemblies, okay? So I can, make that a little bit bigger this way you can see all of your tools now you can play around with this whole section so you can actually make the left side bigger and smaller as you like you can make the left and right side bigger okay and even the assembly tree over here you can see the assembly tree and i'll go over that in a little bit and uh, basically what i've done is for each assembly i've actually called it the operation that i use it in okay so not to get it confused so this way I know that for this tool, I'm using it for pocket island facing, all right? And I use this holder with it. So as you can see, there's a very nice graphical area that allows you to rotate your part. So if you actually select the scroll button of your mouse, you can rotate the part and even zoom in and out using the scroll button to see it a little bit better. Some people like to actually make this area big and zoom in this way you're always paying attention to what you got, all right? If you select uh, the holder itself, you'll see the holder be highlighted if you select the tool itself as well. Uh, but for this one, uh, we are just focusing on the entire assembly. Now you can also select a cutting tool. Now selecting it by itself will not have it show up over here. You need to double click it. All right, and there you go. You see the last tool that I'm using it doesn't quite have a holder and we'll create one in this uh, chapter, so don't worry. Now there's a little difference between selecting the assembly uh, here and tool assemblies and selecting it here. If you actually select it here, you will notice that it starts, it opens it up for you, but it also opens up a new assembly. So it's like you're basically telling it, hey, I wanna create a new assembly. 
and it opens it up with a brand new assembly. Any information on any line that you click on over here, for example, I'm going to scroll all the way to the top to my first one. There's all the information. So you can come over here and edit any of those information and they will show up over here. Okay. So anything that you want to change here will show up here. Now under all these names, you're going to see some uh, titles for each of them. Of course, if you select them once again, they will basically sort out uh, either one way or the other, depending how many times you click it and you can sort per any of them. All right. To delete any of those, especially the last one that we created, right click on it and click on delete and it will go away. Now I'm going to go back and sort them per tool number. Okay. Now you can also switch off and on any of these. All right. For example, say uh, the diameter offset. I don't want to see that. You can right click over here and select diameter offset and you'll notice that it actually disappears. So now there's only length offset. You can also add a few other ones. For example, if you want the description, select description and then scroll to the right, you'll see the description. You can always change the size of these and make it as big and small as you like. I'm going to go ahead and turn off description right there. Okay. And as you can see, the more of these you open up, you can also open up the holders tab, even though there's no holders right now in there, uh, under the tools, there's only one and under assemblies, uh, there's a total of seven. Now this is a start page. It only has some information basically on what you want, creating holders with a wizard. You can read about it. You can read about creating tools with a wizard and about Mastercam tool manager. So if you want more information on any of these, you can open them up. It will basically open up the Mastercam help and you can go through and it will actually show you step by step on how to do some things. Um, so you'd have to search for some of them uh, or just go through them. You know, a lot of people don't like to read about these things. Uh, a video shows you guys a little bit better on how to guide you through it. And that's why I'm here for you. Okay. So this is just an overview right now of the Metrocam uh, tool manager application. I'm going to be going through in the next videos and showing you some details about them and what you can and can't do.